The Diary When the larger farms in this parish started refining their milk on a larger scale, the term farmhouse dairy came into use. This meant that the dairies were run on a more factory-like basis. These dairies were owned by individuals or by companies, and the milk was bought from nearby farms. There were also some farmer-owned dairy cooperatives. The idea for those came from Denmark, where the first dairy cooperative was started as early as 1880. The great advantage to the cooperative system was the fact that the dairy was the collective property of all the farmers, and thus it was in the interest of all of them that the business generate maximum profit. When industrialisation and railroad building had gotten underway in Sweden, new consumer groups came along wanting dairy products. The most popular dairy product was butter, and that was also produced for export purposes. In the mid-1800s, some changes were made that were important to the Swedish farmers. It all started with Great Britain abolishing some food in 1846, thereby opening a large market for agricultural products. In 1856 to 1858, when the Swedish Parliament of the Estates decided to abolish tolls on imported grains, the prices of cultivated grains were lowered in the country. This meant that dairy and cattle became more important to the Swedish farmers. The agricultural societies held information campaigns for better animal husbandry which resulted in farmers starting to feed concentrate feedstuffs to their cows, and this led to a sizeable increase in the country's milk volumes. In the end of the 1860s, Johann Swartz from Östergötland County invented the so-called ice method, the separation of cream. His method was based on the discovery that the quicker the milk was chilled, the faster the cream was separated. Swartz's ice method quickly spread throughout the dairy industry in Sweden and in the rest of Europe. Using the ice method, the dairy factories could make their butter production more efficient, and so Sweden's butter exports increased. In 1878, Gustav de Leval invented the separator, which separated cream from skimmed milk using centrifugal force. Another innovation from the same time period was pasturation. Milk had been known as the white poison because it was a source of the bacteria that caused tuberculosis and other diseases. But with pasteurisation, it was now safe to drink. This would revolutionise the world of dairy.